Overnight, the State Department ordered all non-emergency U.S. Embassy and consulate employees in Iraq to leave. That follows rising tensions with Iran, Iraq's neighbor. President Trump dismissed a report that his national security team is reviewing a plan for more than 100,000 U.S. troops to confront Iran. David Martin is at the Pentagon, where officials suspect the Iranians are behind sabotage attacks on oil tankers. News this morning, David. Good morning. Good morning. In addition to ordering all diplomatic personnel, all non-essential diplomatic personnel out of Baghdad, the U.S. is also warning all Americans that it is too dangerous to travel to Iraq. President Trump touted at a campaign rally what is becoming one of the hallmarks of his America First foreign policy. We're now holding dangerous regimes accountable by denying them oil revenue to fund their corruption, oppression, and terror. But Iran remains dangerous. U.S. officials say it is highly likely Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guards were responsible for Sunday's attacks that blew holes in the hulls of Saudi and Norwegian tankers anchored just outside the Persian Gulf. Iranian combat divers are believed to have attached explosives to the hull. But an Arab diplomat told CBS News further investigation is needed, and Secretary of State Pompeo was unwilling to publicly blame Iran. I don't have anything uh, to add concrete about the connection between uh, the actions in Iran. I, I think in the coming hours and days we'll know the answer to that. The U.S. has already sent an aircraft carrier and B-52 bombers to the Persian Gulf, but President Trump denied reported plans to send as many as 120,000 more troops. Would I do that? Absolutely. But we have not planned for that. And if we did that, we'd send a hell of a lot more troops than that. On Capitol Hill, Virginia Democratic Senator Tim Kaine blasted the president's thinking. It would be the height of idiocy. It would be unconstitutional. There's no way this president should get us into a war with Iran. Iran has vehemently denied any involvement in the attacks and accused President Trump of playing a very dangerous game, risking devastating war. Gail? All right, David Martin reporting from Washington. Thank you.